Hey, I'm Tadia here with Austin Underground, and I'm here to interview Young Mister. Hey. <laughs> so, is this your first? <laughs> I am good. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. How's your week been, day been? Uh, it's been it's been tiring, but it's been great. This has been it's a first first time for me. So, first time in Austin, and first time doing South by. Wow, that's a lot of first in one time. Yeah. A lot, but it's been it's been great. It's like a sort of a culture shock for me because I live in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. So I just kind of I don't I don't get out much. So. No, I feel you. I moved from Washington to Texas, and it, it was huge difference. Mountains. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, we live. Um, my wife and I live in uh, uh, like so. I say Asheville, but it's 45 minutes, give or take. 10 or 15 more west um, and so we live in a tiny house like it's about halfway up a mountain just middle of nowhere just so I, it's, it's a pretty good place to come especially I've been traveling a lot lately and doing the touring thing which I wasn't expecting to do um, but coming home to that is pretty it's amazing <laughs> oh I know I every time I get away in the mountains I'm I'm just in heaven <laughs> yeah. it's, it's quiet and tranquil I think the word is it's a good yeah Right. That's yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so is that what inspires like your music? Because it definitely, it definitely has that northern, like, feel to it. I mean, it do, uh, You know, it, it does. Um, I think anybody, you know, where where you live and your surroundings will influence whatever you do. You know. Um, so, it it has you know, to an extent. Yeah. Is the the like, your music tells stories, and I wanted to like. I love to ask everyone this, like what, when you're writing, is it about you, is it about your experiences, what is, like, what is it that you're writing when you're... It's, it's kind of a mixed bag, it's never really about one thing, I mean, I mean that's a lie, sometimes it is about one thing, but, but, uh, but, you know, some, you know, a lot of the times I'll write about something from personal experience and I might mix in, you know, like, something that might have happened to a friend or, so... And, then, and uh, just figuring out, you know, like how to tie two stories in together has been pretty cool sometimes. You know, like if I can write about me and also kind of give it a twist, and it's maybe it's not completely about one situation. It's kind of kind of cool. Yeah, that is really awesome, and your music is really good. And you released an album last year and a single this year. Yeah. So. Are you releasing another album soon, or? Yes, uh, the single that we released is, is a one-off, um, so it's not gonna be, the new album won't sound like that. It's not electro pop, <laughs> um, but, uh, it's, but we are working on a new album right now um, that'll probably be released beginning of next year. So we're, we're in the studio and kind of going back and forth on things, um, but we've got a lot of it done, so. That's so awesome. Are you going to be playing any of those uh, songs on the that you're kind of working on here? Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, um, not tonight, because this is all covers. This is all a tribute um, for uh, Greenwich Village in the 1960s. So I'm doing two Len Leonard Cohen songs and a Paul Simon song, um, and then uh, we're going to uh, play the Hilton Garden Inn tomorrow, uh, and that's where yeah we'll we'll play five new new songs off the new album. Oh wow! I'm so excited. I love your music. It it was it really it really does take me back to like I love anything that reminds me of like Washington and I, I kind of like felt like you were from like at least the mountains, not Washington, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's this you know it's a similar vibe from what I know. I mean, we it, when we were living in Chapel Hill, even you know which isn't the mountains. It's you know it's eastern North Carolina. Yeah. Um, we had some friends come from Washington, uh, uh, Courtney Marie Andrews and uh, Dylan Warnack. Courtney's a really great writer. And we had this farm, um, it's like 36 acres and also the middle of nowhere. Sort of, there's a pattern here. Uh, so, but we, uh, it was, uh, so I established this camp, this like writing camp sort of thing called Smalls and New Tall. And we would have writers come in and stay for like three days and we'd, you know, we'd hang out and we'd write together and you know, drink a lot of whiskey and then, you know, make breakfast and make meals and then write some more and then, uh, and then we had this little shack barn in the back. So we'd record the music there and when they came there, like, this reminds us so much of, you know, 
this place in Washington State where they live, which was like somewhere just south of Seattle. So, yeah. yeah. That really does sound really nice. It's laid back. It's, it's great. Yeah, we went from there to, to Asheville, which is another just fantastic, quiet, you know, not, not too noisy. So. That's so awesome. Uh, can I ask you, um, what is your name? Like, where did you come up with the name? Because I know your name is Steven, so. Yeah, yeah I, there's really not an interesting story there. I like, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I wish there was. It, it, it's just not like, it, it, it just happened. Yeah, it was a, I think this sounds great, you know, like, and it, and it, 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 ties, it ties into kind of my personality in, in some ways, and, and uh, it's just a name that I had on backlog, you know, like something I was like, I want to do something with this, and then when this project came about, um, it just fit, it seemed right. So. Have you been singing since you were really young? Yeah, probably since I was two. Not seriously, though. Like, but uh, I got a Star Search microphone for my second birthday. That's like a toy from the 80s. So there's Star Search was, was like the American Idol you know, of, of the day, I think. I don't really remember it because I was two. But, but it was like this toy microphone that had these little buttons that you could stomp on. And it would make these noises and things. And, uh, but I, I used to take it and pretend to sing Janie's Got a Gun. I think it did, yeah. I think so. Yeah. No, no, you're thinking of the, um, I know it's your little box, the cassette. Yeah, yeah. This had, this had a legit mic stand. So it made it easy. I, like, I would, I would wrap a scarf around it. I, I was like three, too. So like, I had this thing from like, age two to three. And I remember like wrapping a scarf, or, a scarf around it because I had watched uh, Aerosmith. And I was like, Steven Tyler is the coolest thing in the world. We have the same name. Like, he's... This is great. Janie's got a gun. Amazing. So I would just like sing that song over and over again. But there's, we got a noisy bunch here. That's all right. Uh, we got a, yeah, popping bottles. So, yeah. Yeah, fun crowd. Real fun crowd. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, no, you know, so music has always been something I've been interested in. Uh, I started taking it seriously around 17 or 18, so, um, which was 12 years ago, 13 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's awesome because you're really, really talented. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. And it's, it's cool to have people reach out. You know, this, is, this has all been a surprise for me. We didn't expect to, to get into South by Southwest and I didn't expect to be touring again. And, we just kind of put this album out, and then there, were, you know, some people were like, "We really like this, and we want you to come here." And it's been, it's been overwhelming, but surprise, but but fun, and really, just really cool. So, so you are touring. Are you touring after this, or have been before this? Yeah, we we were on tour before this, and then uh, I go home for just probably five days, and then I'm out until May, um, and I leave for the West Coast in May. So, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on here with us and Absolutely. talking with us. We really appreciate it. And guys, definitely check out his music. It is just amazing. And um, check out his new song. It's really good, Safety, and his new album. Follow him on Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And then follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. We're Austin Underground. Don't do drugs. <laughs>